of another double view of two smoke worms I got that I got and in fact it's by the same brand and it is these two smoke worms I got on the same day as I got with my black and decker um so I'm gonna just go ahead and do a double view with these since you know one of them I might not be able to test unfortunately um which one do I want to go with first I'll start with the common dog side this here is a first alert model number FACO. It is a common dioxide detector. Um, got this off eBay. Um, just got today. Here is the uh, the box for it. Pretty huge box, by the way. Also, there's a cool view right there too. Um, now. Now these were made like in the early 90s, early to mid 90s, um, and um, um, they um, they use this uh type of battery, and of course, the battery is dead as a doornail. Um, which the sad part is, they don't make these no more. It's kind of similar, um tell it similar thing like they did with my other detectors that have the 12.6 volt um but the bad part is about this i do not know how to power it up because um it has some type of like it's some type of battery it's not like a uh, your additional nine volt battery um so so i can't test this unfortunately i wish i could but i can't um, now if I ever do figure out how to power this up, I will definitely make a video on that. Well, more or less, let's, uh, move on. This is my first alert, SA-150 LTD. This is more or less the later model. This is the slim model, which, in fact, I got this brand new in box too. There's the box for it. Got this off from eBay as well. And it's original batteries. Non-corroded batteries. I'm glad I have an Ever Ready, a silver Ever Ready. Now all the other ones I've gotten with this battery was always exploded. Well, not for this one. Um let's go ahead and take the inside of it. There's the inside. It's basically like I said, this is basically a, you know, second gen model of my first alert SA-150 LT. As you see, there's a similar inside, but except this one has the, the bigger dot hole. Well, this one doesn't. Um, now, now, I was actually, in fact, glad to have the slim model than the ones with the cover open. In fact, that's the one I wanted for the second gen. Um... Now, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a test. Now, some peoples have some of these that do code three, and I was actually expecting it to do code three. Well, I was wrong. It's just your basic four six. So as you see, it does your typical four six as most of these did. It's still pretty cool, though, but, you know, for a slim. And, honestly, I'd really rather have a 4.6 slim model than a just a code 3 because then that just makes it modern. But, still, it's still pretty cool, though. Um, I don't think I got much more to say other than um, glad to have these two in my collection as well. Um, hopefully, I can get this one powered up. Hopefully, I can do that. But, otherwise... I can't test it. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, y'all have a good one.